Welcome to another episode of Useless Linux Tools. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get cool ASCII art like this because every once in a while you might want to spruce up your terminal or your configs a little bit. I know a lot of people like to put maybe some ASCII art inside their Vim configuration or any of their other config files. I have this banner on my NeoVim or some people even just like to have some ASCII art whenever they start up their terminal. I don't know, maybe you think that is cool. And you can even apply some additional filters to colorize this. I think that looks pretty nice. Or I don't know, maybe you wanna put some ASCII art in your forum signature. Remember when those were a thing? Those were the days. Anyway, let's get into this. So you might be thinking that the way that you get this is by going to one of those websites where it says free ASCII art generator, typing in your text and copying it. You can do that, but that's the noob way to do it. Let's see the pro way to do it. And it's gonna be with this program called Figlet. Let's close all these windows here. And we're going to install this program called Figlet. It is available in all of your standard package managers. Should be in all the official repos, so you should just be able to go with your favorite package manager to install Figlet. But once you have that done, you can just run Figlet and then let's say, hello world. Just the most basic implementation. And there we go. We have some very basic ASCII art, but that's probably not the font you want. It might be, but if we want a complete list of every single font, then we can run the command show fig fonts. This comes with Figlet and this will print you a gigantic list of every single font that is available on your computer right now. Well, a lot of these I've installed already, so by default, it will just be some like this. And to be honest, the default fonts are not really that good. These are some of the default fonts. They just look okay, but if you want some better fonts, then you can download them from the internet. So there is this GitHub right here with a huge list of a bunch of Figlet fonts. And at the bottom here, you can see that they have example text. So you can just scroll down here and basically find anything that looks cool. That's what I did. I thought that this looked cool and I thought that these look cool. So I downloaded them and the way you can download them is you can go over here. And of course we saw in the examples. So we want, let's say ANSI regular or ANSI shadow. So let's say we want ANSI shadow. We can click on this. If you want to, you can probably clone the entire repo, but if you just want a font or two, you can probably just do the classic, open up the file, copy it, and then paste it in your Figlet directory. And your Figlet font directory is going to be, let's scroll down here, slash user slash share slash Figlet, or the fonts folder inside that. That's where I put all my fonts. So let's just go in. So sudo edit slash user slash share slash figlet slash fonts. This should be where all the default fonts are stored. And then just create the name of the file. Uh, don't put any spaces in it. You might run into some issues if there's a space in the file name, but you can just open this up and then obviously paste in the results. Let's save it. And you can now change the font by going figlet dash F. And it has tab complete, so we can see all the possible options. Let's go to ANSI shadow and say, hello world again. And now we have hello world in our brand new font. That is pretty nice. But maybe you want this to be a little bit longer and not be split over two lines like this. You can do that with the option dash T. So let's add that. And that will adjust it to the width of the terminal. So if I half the width of the terminal and then pass dash T again, then it will wrap. So dash T will just adjust it to the width of the terminal. You can also manually adjust the width with dash W. If you want it to be maximum of 80 characters long, you can say that. If you want it to be maximum of, I don't know, 280 characters, you can also do that. And finally, one other useful option might be dash C, where you can center the text. This might be useful if you want some text to pop up whenever you start your terminal and you want it to look like this. And if you want to color this in your terminal, you can use this command called lolcat. So this is installed separately. I think it is in all official repos as well. It's going to be lolcat. 
And what you can do with lolcat is you can pipe things to it. So let's say we have this. We can pipe it to lolcat and it is going to automatically color it for you. So that's a pretty cool effect. And if you want this to start up every time that you start your terminal, what you can do is you can copy this line right here. And let's say we go into our, if you're using bash, it's gonna be in your bash RC. For me, I have it in my ZSH RC, which is over here. And basically in your shell configuration, it's just going to be the first line. And so let me just add that. And then if you start up a new terminal, you can obviously see that we have this as soon as we start up. And I don't know about you, but it's definitely worth showing off to strangers on the internet. I bet if you post that in your Arch Linux screenshot, then people will think that you are pretty cool. But let's say we don't just want to have this on our terminal. We want to paste this in our configuration file. That is pretty easy as well. What you would just do is, let's say we take our vimrc and we want to get the font of ANSI Shadow again. What you can do is you can pipe the results to, if you're using Xorg, then it's going to be xclip-selectionc. If you're using something else, then you might need to use a different program to copy to your clipboard, but this should work. So let's hit enter. This will be copied to our clipboard. Now we can go to, let's say our vimrc. We can delete this. Let's paste it in. Obviously we need to comment it out. So let's use a little bit of vim magic in order to do that. Comment it out, delete this. And that looks pretty nice. What do you think? But Figlet is not the only implementation. It is not the only way to get ASCII art in your terminal. There is this other program called Toilet. Yes, that is the actual name, unfortunately. No, it was not my idea to come up with this, but we're working with what we got, so it's going to be Toilet. I believe on Debian, at least, it is going to be in the official repositories. On Arch Linux, it's going to be in the AUR. But Toilet is going to be very similar to Figlet with a couple of additional options. So of course you can use all the same commands as you would before, dash F to choose the fonts. Let's choose a better font. So there you go, you can get all the same options as you would with Figlet. But there is one additional option that you might find useful, that is the dash capital F option. And we can pass in something like metal here to get this cool kind of metallic effect right here. Now there is one more filter, it's called rainbow and that will give you exactly what you expect. But real OGs know that this filter used to be called dash dash gay, which I think is kind of funny. But that is really the only difference between Figlet and Toilet, at least as far as I could tell. So there are some files called TLF instead of FLF. Obviously Figlet is FLF and Toilet is TLF. And Figlet can still read all these TLF files. So there really isn't that much reason to use Toilet over Figlet, unless you really want this gay filter, I guess. But that's all there is to it. Now you can get creative with ASCII art and use it for whatever purposes you might have. Maybe you can add it to your GitHub repositories readme to spruce it up a little bit. Maybe you can make a cool YouTube thumbnail with some ASCII text. The sky is really the limit, but ASCII art is officially back. So go out and spread the word and fill the world again with ASCII art, just like the good old days.